Oh, uh, try and break in here. That's it. <laughs> Yo. This, this, they're about to summon Satan. Some Illuminati bullshit. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh god, he's trying to stop the summoning. Uh-uh. Clap for murder my monkeys. They love it. Clap for murder. Yep. So, we are on the edge of the glowing sea. The glowing sea, so ominous. I'll put our fucking hazard suit on, or we're gonna turn into mush. Um, I haven't ventured out into the glowing sea yet, so hopefully it's all worth it. I, I mean, I have to for the mission, but hope it's not just, you know random completely blown up stuff. I actually really like the uh how this is turning into. It's very uh spooky and I guess it would be constant storms out here. Did a very good job at this uh kind of area. Heads up. Come on, Nick. I'm all ears. Ooh. Yeah, might as well. Let's kill some stuff. So we're on our way. If you haven't seen the last episode, check it out. We are on our way to find a... Uh... Oh, I don't know what title they bestowed upon him. Dr. Virgil or Engineer Virgil. One of the Institute employees, anyway. Mr. Virgil, and uh, he apparently ran out here to hide from them. Um, I guess this is the place to go if you don't want people to find you, and I see why. Everything is just super shitty, everything's gigantic and wants to kill you. So far, been ferals and these guys, but I'm guessing there's gonna be some crazier shit. Fucking hell, I hate these things. Die, 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 die. But yeah, so we're on our way out to God knows where to find him. Um, there was a part where we had talked to Mama Murphy, gave her some cams, and she talked about uh, it, uh, what was it? Adam's Crater and uh, people worshipping. I'm guessing there's going to be some crazy people out here. Ooh. Ooh, a cave. Beautiful. Oh, what's that? Wait, I don't know what to do. Should I go in the cave or should I kill that? Legend. Oh, fucking shit. Let's do it. Get her done, boys. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this is where I die. Oh, this is where I die. I got a bad feeling. This is where I die. Yep, 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 yep. Is it mutated yet? I don't even know. Oh, yeah, just stay back there. That's cool. No, 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 no. You don't need to come near me. Fuck it. Let's see. Fuck yeah. What do we get? Uh, something I'll probably never use. Boxing glove. Standing. I hate those ones. 50% more damage while not moving. Okay, whatever. Um, and they do everything out here. What is fucking huge and wants to kill me? Jesus! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. It's like four of these guys popped up. Where'd the other guy go? Yeah, get some. Everything out here is literally just huge and dangerous. Fuck. 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 Where do I go? 
how far is this place? Holy. Just constantly killing things. Ooh, a couple barrels. Let's kill them. Holy shit, oh god, that was more than a couple. Yeah, this is where I die. This is where I die. Everything out here just wants to just completely eat you. God damn, I hate this place. Okay, um, we're just up the hill. <sighs> From a bunch of ferals and God knows a lot of other stuff. And this, ooh, this is it. This is where we're supposed to be. It's like a little town. Got a little, little shanty town up in here. Crater of Adam. So I'm guessing this is where one of the many, many atomic bombs fell. I drank some of this. This is like, this is it. This is like ground zero, man. This is the most radiated place you're going to be. And I, I don't understand how there's people here. Why does that look like that's like the fluid that you can light on fire? Am I crazy or I just wanna light this whole crater on fire? Anyway, let's see if we can find somebody. Is he They're not wearing suits. I bring a smile on the lips of How are they not dead? Can I take mine off? Stop right there, stranger. You approach Atom's holy ground. Why? State your purpose or Tell me your secrets. How are you not dead? I'm um, here because I need your help. Do you seek division? Have you come to merge with Atom, to be split in his infinite glory, or do you seek to tear down his followers? Just talking about Atom makes Virgil. me think of uh, yes. Bioshock. You know this Virgil. What do you want with him? I just need to Please work. From him. I see. In truth, Hell yeah, charm the pants off of her. Some concern. Some believe his She's probably so stoned out of her fucking mind off of radiation. He came to trade with us on a few occasions. We have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. Not to mention she's got this weird thing on her, and I saw that on a couple other people when I came in just now. I'm guessing that's like some sort of device that keeps them alive or their kidneys and livers and stuff keep functioning. I need to speak with you. What do you need of me, child? Tell me more shit, yo. How have you survived in all this radiation? That is Adam's unique gift to us, the true believers. He has brought us here to this place, a place that cannot harm us, so that we may worship him, so that we may spread his word to others. That is our calling, to deliver wow. Adam's message to a world that does not wish to hear it. You're straight up crazy. Adam's power to all. Okay. Let me ask. Um, what? Sure. Ask away. Ooh. Just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your Ooh, we're gonna get personal with Nick. A whole hell of a lot to process. This is definitely sure not the time to do this right now. Yeah. Yeah, in the middle of a huh. atomic a crater. Thought. I thought I'd, I was. you know, took me a long share some personals with you. For this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. Folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand. She'd, uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. What? Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even That's know who really fucking messed up. Stumbled on a crying girl in four tufts. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero. Offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested and said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. Was it hard settling in? Yeah, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. 
got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her? Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb? Go get Nick. After a while, <laughs> jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the Synth, but it was Nick the Detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. Yes, and let's not make home here, so let's, uh, wrap it up. But I hope it In the middle of a fucking crater right now, dude. Okay, uh, after Nick's heartfelt talk and trusting us, we are just up from the, uh, atomic crater there. Crater of Adam. And we are trying to- oh my god, there's another fucking Deathclaw. Damn it, piss, shit, yeah, fuck. Ah. Already killed, like, at least a legendary long one, another fucking legendary death bar, another glowing one, this guy. Everywhere, this place is just inhospitable. I'm surprised those people in Adam's or the Crater Adam don't just get completely, like, obliterated by, like, a giant death bar or something. Anyway, like I was saying before I was interrupted so rudely, I am on my way to the cave apparently this dude is living in, which is really awkward. Um, squat in a cave, I guess. Hiding. Ooh, here it is. Let's go on in and say hello. Okay, so there's already some traps here, and I'm talking quietly because apparently, you know, of course the game can hear me. No, I'm kidding. Um, oh. Nothing's hostile. I'm just gonna take down this thing. Okay, so everything's chill. Yeah, what? This guy super mean? Take it nice and slow. No sudden moves. Oh, the radiation must have messed him up. So where's Kellogg? Huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. Well, actually, he's dead. Take it easy. Kellogg's dead. Dead? He's... dead. Don't you lie to me! I'm not lying. I killed him myself. Did you? Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you, you killed him, eh? Hell yeah, stole his clothes and everything. Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape, but how? No, it doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me. Why are you even here? What do you want? Relax, bro. Jesus. You know how to get in there. Wait, what? Are you serious? You want to get into the Institute? Yeah. Are you insane? Never mind how Probably. nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? I need my son. to find my son. The Institute kidnapped him. Oh. Oh no. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Yeah. The Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help, but I'm going to need something in return. You help me and I'll help you. All right. If I help you, you're going to do something for me. 
Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum to reverse this mutation. It could return me to normal. You understand? So if you get in there, wait. So I did he get mutated before he left, or and bring it to me? Maybe he knew he was gonna run away, and that's what happened, I guess. For helping you, all right. So I guess we gotta remember to pick that up. We. Things first. Oh, I hope it's a mission. Get in and out of I will forget. Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. <laughs> I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the institute. Yes, we have. The only one. I already found that, that out. Means you're going to have to use it. No. Have you ever seen an institute courser? Yep. Would, sure. Oh that's a, well. Don't I didn't mean to press that. Me. More than one of them, and you wouldn't be standing here right now. Coursers are institute synths designed for one purpose. They're hunters. I don't remember. There was the one in the previous episode about uh, going inside Kellogg's brain. The person who had picked up Sean. Do, and you're going to have to kill one. That was one of them, anyway. So I guess there's. There's a lot of them. Why do I have to kill one? Because you want to get into the Institute. Remember? They're your ticket in. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now, I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You're going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But yeah. you'll have to do the dirty work. Yeah, dude, I don't expect you to come with me. Okay, let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. No. Okay, so they are above causes some or below the ruins. What? All across the I don't spectrum. understand. You've got a radio on that pip boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then you just have to not get killed. Not gonna lie. The odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. <laughs> I really do hope you find what you're looking for. But I really do hope you find the serum way more than that. Alright, so there's that mission, I guess. This is, uh, getting pretty interesting now. So, uh, yeah. I wonder if I can talk to him more. Anyway, we'll finish this video here if you liked, uh, you know, leave a like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching, guys.